Um, we have a, a question about ambient. I'll come back to in, in just a minute. Or actually, I, I guess I can go ahead and address this now. So uh, in general, uh, ambient is the, uh, ambient mesh is the idea of taking the Envoy sidecar model and deploying a subset of that on the node. Uh, the idea is that we can do encryption and quite a lot of L4 functionality on the, in a shared proxy on the node, um, delegate some capabilities out to an L7 waypoint middle proxy, and as a result, uh, save a lot of resources because we don't have a whole bunch of copies of the sidecar deployed. Um, that is it, it's, uh, an exciting prospect there is a lot of potential for resource savings there, but there is a trade-off in security posture because that uh, privileged component, uh, what's called Z-Tunnel in, in SEO Ambient Mesh uh, for Zero Trust Tunnel. Although I'd argue if you look at my definition of Zero Trust, uh, that tunnel doesn't achieve that. Uh, the tunnel achieves you know, uh, maybe one, two, and three, but does not achieve four and five. So a little bit of a misnomer there. Um, it is fundamentally a little bit of a different security model versus the sidecar because we have one component that holds all of the uh, secrets, all of the identities of every workload on the node, as opposed to that identity being in the sidecar next to the application in the application pod. Under quite a few different uh, threat models, that difference is not huge. But there are quite a few threat models where that difference does matter, right? Uh, and what we see, and, and then secondly, given the current implementation state of Ambient today, it's not something that we would recommend uh, folks using uh, for security yet. The problem is that, and it's just implementation problems today that'll be hardened, right? So in the future, we expect Ambient to be a, a really strong way to implement those policies. Um, today, there's there's kind of basic and easy ways to bypass the Ambient uh, Z tunnel uh, or, or get it to use the wrong identity. Those are just implementation shortcomings that will be addressed. So overall, Ambient you know, is a promising model from a resource savings perspective. It does increase some of the risk because you have a lot of identities held by a single component. And we can definitely get into some of the nuance of the security model between Sidecar and, and uh, Z-Tunnel. Um, but there, there certainly is a trade-off that you are making there. Uh, but the biggest thing I would say is that Ambient is, is not yet ready to, to go into production. Basic things like today, the service identity at runtime is associated with the pod by looking at the IP address of the packet, right? The sort when I send a packet, we look at the source IP address for what identity gets sent. That's trivially not secure, right? Um, I, it's very easy to, to spoof the source IP address and pretend to be anybody on the network, especially if I don't care about the response that comes back. Again, very solvable problem. The, the solution is you do something like create a ton device in the network namespace of each individual pod that way you have a strong association between workload and, and identity. Doesn't get around the point, the problem of a component with a shared identity that is fundamental to the ambient design. So overall, it's a valid way to implement many of these, but it is a less secure model compared to the sidecar model, certainly with today's implementation. But of course, that implementation will get better.